Ever since 2006, when Daniel Ortega came back into power, the people of Nicaragua have suffered through countless human rights violations, little to no due process, and rapidly vanishing independent institutions. Ortega has seized every part of the government, including those institutions that were built to conduct elections, to the point where Nicaragua more resembles an organized crime enterprise than a framework to serve citizens. In April 2018, the accumulation of desperation and despair led young Nicaraguans across the country to take to the streets in peaceful protest. Sadly, their people power was met with cruelty and brutality. Killings, harassment, and detentions orchestrated by the military, national police, and paramilitaries left anywhere between 300 and 400 people massacred. Thousands were injured or forced into exile. More than 100 Nicaraguans are still being held as political prisoners today. Journalists, church leaders, civil society, and indigenous communities have been particularly targeted for threats and violence. If that weren't enough, as we have all read, the Ortega-controlled Supreme Electoral Council recently barred a number of political parties from participating in the electoral process. Ortega has ordered the arrest of presidential candidates, civil society leaders, prominent private sector individuals, and youth leaders, and more. Most of these recent detainees have not been permitted to see or speak with their families, not have access to lawyers, or even to see healthcare professionals. Some have been incarcerated for nearly 60 days, including Juan Sebastian Chamorro and Felix Maradiaga. You can't help but admire the bravery of their wives, Victoria and Berta, who are with us today. We are praying for the immediate and unconditional release of your husbands and all the political prisoners in Nicaragua. This is not a political issue and certainly not a partisan one. Both the Trump and Biden administrations have imposed sanctions against the Ortega regime.